let's start exercise seven. It's day 75. There's three pages to it. Um, so if you want to, you can just kind of, well, actually there's going to be, there's 19 problems um, in all. So you can actually, well, let me, well, da, 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 da. A after, actually, I'd rather you do this in just two days time. So today and tomorrow work on it because then on, then when you're finished with this, I want you to take quiz uh, nine, I believe it is. It's quiz nine. I'll go ahead and make a copy of that so that you'll have it. Um, and quiz nine is only 10 problems long. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's only 10 problems long. So uh, I'll make a copy of that. So on Friday, you can just take the quiz. Uh, so anyway, so let's go ahead and look. Um, I'm not going to walk through each problem with you because these are review, but I just kind of want to explain a few things. Okay, so look at the top of 170. We've learned several complex concepts throughout the last exercises. Today, I want you to carefully practice and review each section. Do not move on until you are certain that you understand each one. As you complete each section, initial it to show your teacher that you have mastered it. Ask your teacher to initial it also. And that's not necessary. I just do want to make sure this is it. We're, we're done with fractions for the most part. So after we have our Christmas break, we're, kind of, we're going to start with decimals. Decimals are really the same thing as fractions, but they're a little different. So <clears throat> anyway, I want you to do, um, like I want, what I, what I would like for you to do, hmm. I'm not quite sure how I want to work this. Okay, let's do this. Let's do each section. We'll do a little bit today, and then we'll save a little bit for tomorrow. So like we'll do one through 10 today, and then tomorrow you can do 11 through, uh, 19, I guess. And then the next day you can do your quiz as you're, if you're ready. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you pause it as you do the first section one, two, and three. Okay. When you're finished with those, I want you to turn it on and then I'm going to, uh, walk you through, I don't know. I'll probably give you the answers to them and then any of them that you didn't get, you're going to come see me so we can figure out why. Okay, so go ahead and pause this and do one, two, and three. All right, I'm going to assume that you have finished number one, two, and three. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the answers are and give you the answers um, so you can kind of check it yourself. Um, <clears throat> all right. So the answer to number one would be two knots. That's your final answer for number one. Your final answer for number two would be one and five elevenths. Number three would be one and five seventeenths. Now, if you got all three wrong, you need to stop now and you need to come and see me and say, Mom, I got all these wrong. And I'm probably going to say, I'll go over it with you later. And I will. You just have to remind me. If you got two wrong and one right, you need to figure, try and figure out why you got the other two wrong. If you got two right and one wrong, that's good. Figure out why you got the one wrong if you can. If you got all three right, you're great. Okay? You're doing, that means you're doing good. But it's likely you may have at least missed one. So, but I do want to know what you missed. I want you to try to figure it out. Okay. All right. If you're ready to move on, let's go to numbers four through seven. Now, it says on numbers four through seven, write the missing number. So, like on number four, you've got uh, three equals two and ten over what? Did you get it right? 
Okay. I hope you did. If you didn't, you understand now what we're doing. So go ahead and finish five, six, and seven. Pause it and then turn it back on and I'll give you the answers. All right, on number five, it should have been 20. Number six would have been 30. And number seven, your whole number would have been nine, would have been nine and five fifths, okay? If you got several of those wrong, let me know, okay? Make sure you circle or X or do something so you'll know, I'll know and you'll know which ones you got wrong so we can fix it. There's no sense in moving on to decimals until you've got this completely down, okay? So let me know how you did on that section. All right, now let's go ahead and just for today, let's go ahead and do numbers eight, nine, and 10. These are what we've been working on. These are just subtraction. Um, they've all got common denominators already. So you're just gonna probably be renaming. In fact, on all three of these, you will be renaming. So go ahead and do eight, nine, and 10. Turn it back on and I'll give you the answers. Okay, for number eight, your final answer would have been one and eight ninths. Number nine, your answer, your final answer would have been seven and three fifths. Number 10, your final answer would have been five and six elevenths. Okay, if you got these wrong, you need to come see me. Okay, if you, you may have just messed up one little spot. If you did, go back and see if you can find the, what you messed up on, okay? Otherwise, make sure you've marked everything that you missed today. Even if you've corrected it, make sure you marked it. Bring it to me and let me see it, okay? All right, tomorrow we'll finish the rest. That's all for today.